That was really weird. I'm a little uncomfortable. Well, intro. My little pony, my little pony, what is friendship all about? My little pony, my little pony, friendship is magic. Greetings, my brony and pig sister friends. Welcome to Crimson Analysis. In this episode, I'm going to be analyzing Season 9, Episode 18. She talks to Angel. As soon as I heard that title, I had a bad feeling. Most people who aren't in the fandom won't have a problem with that title, but because of the fact that we know who Angel is, we know this is not going to end well. Oh, Sweet Feather Sanctuary. We haven't seen this place in a while. Mm -hmm. Oh. Antoine believes what he eats is his business. Do other predators feel that way too? Would any prey like to respond? Muriel, does it bother you when Antoine tries to eat you? Just because you're on opposite ends of the food chain doesn't mean you can't work to- huh? At this point, I was thinking, what is this? But if you really want to be heard, you should join our predator-prey support group. Then you could talk to everyone here. A predator-prey support group? Only Flutters I could actually make that work. Or even think about doing it. Since we all need to get along, what if all predators promise to only eat vegetables while staying at the sanctuary? Mm. Oh, Sandra, you can do it. Okay, that would never work. You can't just ask predators to not be predators and expect them to eat vegetables. Vegetables are not even healthy for those type of creatures. But because this world is populated by pascal colored talking ponies, I'm gonna suspend my disbelief. Oh, Zakora! Zakora found this little guy and brought him to my office, but I thought he might do better at the sanctuary. Ah, seeing what you two do, the real question is can I help you? You mean me and Angel? Mm hmm. Oh, he's fine. We're fine. I, I just don't always have time to indulge him. But we're best friends. Even the best of friends need help from time to time. Come visit me in my hut, should you change your mind. Usually when Zakora offers her services, my concerns are eased. But for some reason, that didn't happen this time. He's kind of cute. Oh, goodness, Fluttershy. Is this the list of what you do every day? How do you find time for anything else? Between here and teaching at the school, I'm not sure I do. And there's the problem. Fluttershy is so busy with everything from her sanctuary and the school, she doesn't have time for Angel. Ah, such luck you're coming here indeed. Behold the antidote you need. Is this what you meant by help us? When trouble brews between you two, turning sister against brother, true understanding is what's due. Each must come to know the other. There's no time to waste. Go directly home. But you both must taste when you're finally alone. Okay, so I was slightly spoiled on this episode. I knew what this potion did. And by the time I wrapped my head around what was happening, that bad feeling I got when I heard the title just got worse. Hold up, am I a pony? Why am I a pony? It is so weird hearing that tone come out of Fluttershy in her voice. I was kind of hoping both of them would be able to physically talk, but I guess not. I've only been able to talk to you since we met, and now I can talk to any pony I want. That's a big issue. I thought they would have focused a little more highly on that issue, but they never did. You think Sakura gave us the wrong potion? So you're gonna go to her hut in the forest and get something to switch us back? All by yourself? You really don't know what it's like being a bunny. Good luck with that! I'm gonna go find those carrots! Uh, hearing that tone from Fluttershy is so weird. I need to finish your chores? <laughs> I don't work for you, and caring about other animals is a you thing. <laughs> Dare? You can still do that? Ugh! No fair making me do your bidding against my will. Alright! 
I'll go do your lane chores while you go see Zagora. I always thought the stare was a physical thing. I guess it must be a magical thing, considering the fact that she's no longer in her body and she still has the ability to use it. Fluttershy! Oh, yeah, uh, that's me. Definitely Fluttershy, uh, 100%. See how shy I am? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 what? Go back. Did I really just hear that? I talk to animals, I wanna marry Discord, I wanna marry Discord. Whoa, we're going there? The show actually went there. I want to mention just one thing here. I think Angel is just making fun of Fluttershy. Despite her and Discord being good friends, I don't think Fluttershy has any desire to marry Discord, and I don't think Discord has any desire to marry Fluttershy. My best friend is a Pegasus named Summer Breeze. We enjoy hanging out with each other, but there is no romantic feelings there. We just love hanging out with each other and spending time with each other. Quite a day, my fuzzy friend. Did things work out for you in the end? I'm sorry, dear bunny, that things seem so grave, but I don't understand when you sign and wave. I'm sure Zakora is fully aware of who this is. I believe she knows that this is Fluttershy. That's why she says this the way she does. A single link to all the world. Only one in all the land. How special she must be to you, the one who understands. Perhaps if you explained what you wanted to some pony who understood, if you truly felt heard and valued, all would return to good. And if you were to both apologize, having learned this little lesson, I imagine that might bring an end to the friendship therapy session. Okay, yeah, that line confirms it. She definitely knows who this is. <laughs> Okay, things really went from bad to worse to worse this. Worse this isn't a word, but I'm using it anyways. Angel? What's wrong with her? Him? What happened? He's exhausted. Despite all the flaws the angel has, he really does care about Fluttershy. And that's the main reason he's acting up. Okay, point taken. And I totally deserve it. I did not provide you with the care that Fluttershy would. But now you know what it's like not to get the level of attention to which you become accustomed. He's very used to Fluttershy giving him all of her attention. But ever since she's had the sanctuary and the school, her attention has been divided between the school and the sanctuary mostly. She's almost given him none attention whatsoever because of the fact she just doesn't have time to do so. The point is... Fluttershy is trapped in my bunny body. If we don't help her, maybe none of us will get her attention. I get that you don't want to help me, but don't you want to help her? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the animals would only ever do it for Fluttershy, not for anyone else. Look at Dr. Fauna's face here. She is so confused. You never appreciated me? No, I never appreciated you! Turns out your friend here doesn't have a problem at all. He isn't a gecko, he's a fire lizard. I forgot that before they get their flame, it's hard to tell them apart. <laughs> I'm glad to discover where the source of it lies, or the fire that he breathes would be quite the surprise. Yeah, I can't imagine it would be. Speaking of surprises, can you please never do that again? And that was She Talks to Angel. Final thoughts? This was an okay episode. I can't really fault them for this, considering the fact that the last episode, the Summer Sun Setback, had a lot in it. One thing I want to mention though, a lot of people seem to think that Sokora was kind of reckless for doing this type of spell, but I don't believe she intended this to happen. After all, Fluttershy says that Sakura told them to take the potion after they got home. Not yet, Angel. Sakura told us to take it together when we got home. I believe Sakura was fully aware of what the potion would do, and this is exactly what she intended it to do. The reason she told them to not take the potion until they got home was so that when it did happen, it would be an isolated incident and it would be confined to the home and not spill out onto everything around them. But, because Angel jumped the gun and, did, and drank it before they got home, this happened. 
I believe Zakora had good intentions. By telling them to get home before, she hoped to minimize the fallout. I maybe should put some blame onto Zakora, but I'm not going to. I believe she did what she had to do. Fluttershy and Angel needed this to happen for their issue to be resolved. I was sort of hoping this episode would have an Angel Redemption aspect, but unfortunately it did not. I was gonna talk about the fact that because Angel is now in Fluttershy's body, he can talk to anyone he wants now, when at first he could only talk to Fluttershy. But the show barely mentioned this, so I had nothing to analyze. I'll give this episode a 6.7 out of 10. That's it for this episode of Crimson Analysis. I'm Crimson Shield, thanks for watching. Music fills the sky. There's music by the river.